If you're looking for inspiration for a new directory website, I think you'll really find this uh, made in Canada directory site that I found super interesting. So let's just do a bit of a mini teardown, kind of walk through what's going on with this site, uh, what I think they're doing right, what I think they could improve on, uh, and who knows, maybe it'll give you an idea for a directory of your own. All right, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, this directory is focused 100% on basically helping people who live in Canada buy, you know, pretty much anything. Here we, we see automotive, clothing, electronics, uh, food, uh, home products, furniture, internet services, basically anything you can think of that is made in Canada, that you know, buy in Canada, it is on this website. I mean, supposedly they have everything, right? Who knows? Um, I really like this website. And actually, when I first came across this site the other week, I thought it was a brand new website, right? I was, thought this was a whole thing that was kind of like a response to the tariffs. Um, it's actually been around quite a while. You can see here in the footer, uh, July of 2018. So they've been around quite a while. Uh, I suspect they are loving all of this attention lately uh, with the tariffs, uh, you know, and Canadians. I've seen all these news stories, I'm sure you have too, uh, of Canadians who are trying to buy only things made in Canada because of the tariff situation. Uh, so they, they built a while ago, but this was probably the perfect moment for them to exist. Uh, the website looks great, which I'm sure you can see here. Um, they have their main categories here on the page. They've shown you here who has been recently added in each category, which is a really nice feature. Obviously, we have this hysterical photo here of let's you know the stereotypical Canadians, uh, which I just love. Uh, you know, and they're showing everywhere they've been featured, which isn't surprising. Uh, so we can see that you can submit a business here, right? So if you either maybe just know of a business that they're missing or you are a business owner, you can submit here. Um, I don't know if they offer a paid thing if you want to be like a featured listing. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, da, da, da. So here's a rush listing. So this is one of the ways that they're monetizing. For $50, you can jump you know, to the top of the line there to make sure you get put on this website. I suspect that when you know the whole tariff situation started uh, a few months back that they probably sold a lot of these rush listings. Looks like that's just a one-time fee, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I think I'd try to find a way though to make this kind of like a recurring fee, uh, but still pretty, pretty good idea here. You know, they've got a grocery guide here at the top that they're promoting. Uh, let's see here. Now, what's interesting about the grocery guide is obviously that's going to be very helpful for users, but it's not really something that, uh, you know, you can monetize unless they have display ads on. Um, I do have an ad blocker on, so let's, let's see if there are display ads on the page. So, yes, looks like they have Mediavine, Mediavine ads. Yep, so, so there are display ads on the page, so that is another way that this site is monetizing is with display ads. Um, honestly, not surprising. Uh, let's see, they have a newsletter as well, so let's see if we can see what that looks like. Uh, we cannot, so they could be monetizing on the newsletter as well by selling, you know, sponsored spots on there. Uh, but you're going to find something very interesting that isn't immediately apparent uh, that I actually discovered when I was looking at this before I started recording. Uh, and before we get to that though, I do see here we have a donate option as well. So you can donate any amount that you want. I guess, you know, if uh, maybe you're Canadian and you love this cause that they've taken up, you can throw some Canadian dollars their way. Uh, media kit here. See if that says anything else about what we can, you know, basically say we're a Canadian business. Like how can we spend money with this company? So there's the logo. Here we go. So they're doing link building clearly with uh, basically featured on here, um, you know, this little badge thing. So that's that's pretty interesting. As a sidebar, if you are doing this type of link building for your directory, this gives you an idea of what the code should look like that you want people to copy. Uh, so I know that I've seen people, you know, asking how they can get this kind of code. This is a perfect example of how to set that up on your own website. Uh, so let's see here. Let's, I don't really see like a, our standard media kit here, which is pretty interesting. What I was expecting to see here were things like, you know, how much traffic we get, what's the breakdown of our traffic, you know, where's it coming from, if it's going to be Canada on this site, uh, you know, what's the demographics in terms of male versus female, age group, things like that. You know, that kind of stuff is what's normally in a media kit. Um, that way you can know, like, is this the ideal place for me to advertise? Media kits also tend to have all of the advertising options 
uh, for our website. So I'm, I'm actually honestly quite surprised that they don't really have that on here. That's something that I think is like a really a very missed opportunity for them because, um, you know, they could be selling listings, you know, maybe in their newsletter or on some of these other pages on the site. Uh, all right, let's go back up here. Now, the one thing I wanted to show you is, like I said, I was looking on this site earlier because I was curious, you know, what's going on with this site? How are they making money? And we've already seen, you know, the, the donations. We've seen the rush listings, and we've seen that they have media might ads, but that is not all they have going on here. So let me just pull up here the site map for this particular site because it is a WordPress site. Um, and I was like, oh wow, they have like three, four post site maps and a page site map. And I thought that was kind of surprising that they have, you know, so many of these. So these look like, you know, your normal things. Let's go ahead and look at one. This one looks like it could be, so it's a digital marketing agency. So, you know, just, just basic, right? Kind of what we would expect to see on a directory site. Uh, post site map number two, same thing. So let's stop looking at the posts and check out this page site map. This is where the surprise is going to be. Almost 600 URLs under pages, which is very surprising when we think about the fact there's already four post site maps. Oh, but what is this? Review content. So what we have here, look at this, it is affiliate marketing. So they have taken a directory website and kind of hidden uh, this like niche site type of affiliate type, you know, type of content. Uh, I assume to take advantage of the popularity and the fact that it's been classified as a directory website. So we've just got like a straight up affiliate marketing play, almost 600 URLs just devoted to that. And this is where it gets super interesting. They have entered the mattress affiliate marketing game too. So that they have to be making so much money, right? Because the mattress programs pay a lot of money. So if you're doing, you know, a directory website where you could kind of sneak this kind of content on once you get some traction, definitely keep that in mind if it makes sense for you. Uh, because I suspect they are making a lot of money from those almost 600 posts. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is, like I said, um, I think this site looks really, really good. You know, it doesn't look like your standard, you know, your standard niche site, your standard directory site, uh, or those, you know, directory sites that everyone's spinning up, you know, with Lovable or whatever those AI coding tools are, are called. Um, I'm not using any of them, so I'm not super familiar with their names. Um, so when I was first looking at this site, I was like, what, like, how did they build this site? It can't be WordPress because it looks too good. So let's look at the page source code and I will show you what they've done. So I mean, we can see right here from the top Yoast SEO plugin. So we know that this is a WordPress site. Uh, even if we didn't notice that, we would see it down below here because we have the WP-includes folder uh, as well as WP content, right? So what can we see? First, they're running the AMA Links Pro plugin. That's actually what clued me in to go check out the site map because I hadn't seen any Amazon affiliate links anywhere. Uh, they're using ConvertKit for their newsletter, but still, this doesn't answer the question, like, why does this site look so good? So I'll keep going here. What do we see? Well, they're also using the affiliate table plugin, uh, which kind of seems like overkill compared to AMA Links Pro. So maybe one of those is, you know, installed, but not actually, you know, being actively used. And what else do we have? Search Filter Pro plugin. Here we go, themes. So we have the Ocean WordPress theme is what their base theme is for this particular website. And I'm, I've never used Ocean, but I feel like it may be uh, kind of like Elementor, uh, like, a, like a builder type of thing. Um, I could be wrong on that. Like I said, I've never used it, but I am basically I've heard of it enough to the point where I think that's what it is. But again, I could be wrong. Um, and it looks like they've also got a child theme installed. Um, Often we see people doing child themes trying to kind of hide uh, what their original theme was so that people can't find it and copy it. Uh, I don't know if that was the case here or not, but we can see that they are using Ocean. Like I said, I think that is one of those site builder themes. Uh, they're also using Elementor, it looks like. Um, what else do we see here? 
WP data tables plugin. They may be using that to build their actual directory listings uh, and fluent form. Now you can always use you know the inspect element thing on any sites where you really like what they've done to see like you know how are they doing this so you don't have to go view the entire source code like I've just done. Uh, but I think that's just a really interesting look at basically you know how do you build a site just like this it looks this amazing you know there's the building blocks right there for you i've also pulled up this site in simrush here because i was curious like what kind of traffic is this site getting um you know and how has its growth trajectory looked so we can see here that it did get hit by an algorithm update uh, september 2023 that was probably hcu um, so they were not immune to that but they have fared you know quite a bit better uh, that I think most people have, right? So we got here, they were up to 71,000. What was this one? 78,000. So now they're showing in and around 14.5. So they have had quite a traffic loss. Um, but again, they, they aren't as bad off as most people. Makes me wonder actually when the affiliate content, the 600 pages of affiliate content was added to the site. You know, was that before HCU or after? So that's just something I'd be curious to know. Um, I do wonder though, you know, is this site getting any traction on say social media, right? Uh, because I suspect that it is and we obviously aren't gonna see that kind of traffic in a tool like this. Uh, this is actually an amazing keyword for them. It makes sense based on their domain name, but they rank number one for made in Canada. Uh, with that in mind, I'm surprised where they're not getting more search traffic. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see here. Just take a look at some of their backlinks. Irish casino sites. Looks like maybe, uh, maybe somebody sent them some bad links, huh? see here so yeah I'm not really sure why they have some really terrible links so here we go we have a site here that has linked to them recently tariff response is the page that it's coming from it's like a pretty high authority link to at least according to SimRush score here um, so as I expected this site has probably gained some popularity with all of the tariff stuff Here's one, the link they got in February from the Hill website, which is a political website. Um, so it's super interesting to see what you can do with your directory site, right? Uh, and of course, these people, like I said, they, they built this years ago and they just happen to have built something that is perfect for, you know, the current time period that we are in. Um, but, you know, you could probably do something similar. Uh, and it doesn't have to be countrywide, right? Um, I lived in Kansas City for a while many years ago um, and it's one of those cities where like the locals have a lot of pride in Kansas City so you know maybe you have a made in Kansas City type of website or or you know people and people who are in Texas love to tell you they're from Texas right I lived in Dallas for a while as well uh, so you could do something similar you know a made in Texas type of website um, you know so so basically if something like that would work for you you know, take what this particular website here has done, what they've done well, and replicate it on your own website. And don't forget, you know, about that affiliate content that they are doing. You know, if you can find a way to make something like this work without harming your website, you know, and getting that HCU classifier, you could obviously make a lot of money from your website doing an affiliate marketing play while, you know, the core, you know, focus of your website being a directory website. Anyways, I just thought this was a really cool website when I came across it, um, you know, because it is a directory website, but it's also so many other things. Um, and like I said, it, it looks really great. I really love the design here for this particular website. Uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, and if you are doing something similar, I would love to hear about it. Thanks for watching.